You are the only thing that I can hold without fear. All I know in my life is darkness, pain, and guilt. Why me? I never had a decent chance to express my womanhood like the girls. All my life, I lived with those scars for days, weeks, and years. I can't even look at myself in the mirror. I feel good about myself. I feel shame all over my body and inside bursting with disgust. You. You are pretty. But someday someone will drop you and leave you to fade away. Abby? Abby, what are you doing outside like that by yourself? It's better you stay where you come from. Hey, hey, look, I was just passing by, you know, and I saw you there. But besides, long time I see you in the area, you know. I prefer stay at my home, so nobody can say this and that about me. Abby, what happened? You have man problems or what? <laughs> well, you know, if that is the case, that does not have to be a problem, you know. Okay, don't try it. Start it from you. But, Abby, what are you doing like that already? Well, you don't want a man to love you or what? Look no more. Man and love is not my cup of tea. They come with stress. Okay, well, check a woman. If that makes you feel better. But, but that's what I style now, you know. You have no respect for me. I want no one, okay? Nobody. But, Abby, you just haven't had a good man yet, you know. A man like me. Well, what are you, mother? Long time I see her, you know. Yeah, she left the island. <laughs> that lady always going someplace, you know. Yeah, she went to Barbados, you know already. Always on some business or the other. Okay, so why are you didn't go with her? She doesn't need me around, okay? She know her business. Abby, what's wrong with you? How are you going on so? What are you talking about? I'm just myself. Nah, man, Abby, you, doing, you, you sound bitter. What is it you're bitter about? Bitter or not, Thomas, I'm not looking for any friends. Okay, so what am I to you? <laughs> I wonder. What, you want it to be more than that? But of course. <laughs> Why not? Who's that over there making all that noise? Oh, that's just a partner of mine. You know, he come and check me going down the road and a little squat. Well, you have a problem with that? He better not believe I screen you. I hear my song like fire. It go all the way not supposed to go and say whatever it was. Especially when he doesn't get what he wants. No comments. No comments. But Abby, baby, looking forward to seeing you again, you know. Call you later. Men. I don't trust them. My little flower. It's just you and I now. Come, let's go inside and do some cleaning. Anytime now that lady will be coming and I know her. <sighs> I just reach here, so let my mouth rest in peace. Uh -uh. I can't want the neighbors to know that I just land. <clears throat> Listen, woman, watch me. I tired. Wait, wait, wait. Um, get a get a shot for me or something. A thirsty. She think I'm afraid mm. of her. I'm not a little child anymore, you know. Ooh. Oh, 
It's leaning in. Look. Thank you, sweetie. I'll be the glass empty. Oh, gosh. I asked if I shot. Look at this thing. You cleaning that so much and this is how you got the place? <gasps> Thanks. We did doing all day. Mm. Mining the damn flower. Do you like your tongue tie? Look, I need going to risk you no more. Anyhow, you know, I went shopping and uh, I'll buy a dress for you. Let me see. Not this. Oh, look, try it on. Tell me if you like it. You sure? Uh, I got time for waste. Try the thing, the man. Enough with me. Abby, hold the dress and try it now. You don't even try anything and you say it's not fitting you. So, what do you want me to do with it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Abby, you don't want it? No, ma. Because everything you do is for your interest. It has nothing to do with me. Girl, nothing I do ever good enough for you, eh? Why is it you so spoiled, girl? You always looking for some sort of attention. Abby, what is your problem? My problems, you mean? Abby, what are you talking about? From young, I tried to tell you. Oh, no. But you hear and you don't listen. Girl, you have always been a strange child. Very moody. Always sticking to yourself. And always behaving as though you have a problem. I used to want you to travel with me, you know. I used to want you to come with me. Back then, what I remember, you used to always want to go where I go. But now you turn big woman. You got problems. My thing what problems, happened. eh? Things happened that I tried to tell you. Abby, you but you're always so busy. Ma, growing up was my worst nightmare. Everything I had was robbed. Yes, robbed, taken from me. Do you know how that makes me feel? Girl, ain't nobody take anything from you, you hear me? I give you everything my ass could have paid for. I pay all the bills. I pay for your education and all them fancy clothes you're wearing. So what you trying to tell me? My body should be every man's property and I mean, don't try telling me what right and wrong. You should be grateful and smiling for the chances you have now, you know. You see the chances you have now? I never had. You should be thanking God for my struggle for providing for the both of us. No, ma. Because your struggle is not my pain. So you don't appreciate what I've done for us? No. You brought me here. That's how you see it? Well, just say it already. Maybe you should have supported me. Maybe that would have been best for both of us. Yo, why you don't shut your fucking mouth here? That is how I feel. Uh, Abby? Like an abandoned child enjoying cards of guilt. Ma, you mean I don't know what I'm talking about? Each time I keep digging myself, searching for something to hold on to, but I keep coming up empty. Ma, you think I don't know what I'm talking about? How many times you just brush me aside without even listening to what so I have what to say? What you want me to do? What is it you want from me, Abby? Huh? You want me to say that I'm sorry? You want me to feel guilty? Never. Life is a rough road. And sometimes we have to do unpleasant things to get ahead. See me? I had to fend for myself. And you were the result. That wasn't easy for me to deal with. Ma, again, you're not uh, listening to me. Abby, Abby, just, Abby, just sit down and listen to what I have to say. Abby, sit down. Abby, sit down. 
样。Now let me tell you something. I don't have to defend myself. But Abby, growing up for me, it wasn't easy. Abby, I grew up with an abusive mother and a drunken father. See, many days, all I had was air and water. That is what I had to call a meal. I didn't get to finish school like everybody else. I was always absent. Abby, I didn't get to finish my education. I didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance to finish my education. I had to, I had to go out and look for things to eat. But then you gotta make the money. Hmm. And that's where it started. You don't know what it feels like to have a mother that's a prostitute. A prostitute? Are mean, you calling me a prostitute? Are I mean, you calling me your mother a prostitute? Watch me cry today. My daughter calling me a prostitute? Let me tell you, Abby. That's a fucking good prostitute. Yes. Watch me cross it today. You call me a prostitute. I mean, you ashamed of me. No, let me know. You ashamed of me. Tell me. What my life have to do with you? How does, how does my life affect you, Abby? How does my life affect you? I don't understand you sometimes. Call me a prostitute. Ma, you just don't get Call it. Me a prostitute. You need to wake up. You know how many people are looking like me, like I in that business too? The look on their faces alone reminds me of my situation. <laughs> Ma, Abby. you know how many of your Abby. customers Fooling them when they are here already. Some of them even try to touch me with their filthy hands. It's all of that I have to do with every day, ma. Are you serious? Abby, why you never tell me this before? Eh uh eh. -uh. Uh -uh. No. No, eh uh eh. -uh. Let me tell you. Ain't nobody fucking wrong my child. Let me tell you, I might be a whore, but ain't nobody making the ass out of you. Not over my dead body. Abby, it ain't happening. It ain't happening, Abby. Ma, I hear you, but the damage is already done. So why is now I hearing this? You know how many times I try to speak to you, but you're always so busy. And Abby, I remember when I was 12 years old, when I had my first period. You didn't even know that. Imagine that. Abby, you, you never used to talk much. You just used to sit in the corner there, sucking your finger, playing with the flower vase. But you see, you see from the time you turn teenage, it's like you don't care about nothing in the world. And now, now, you want to blame everything on me? Oh God. Oh God, Abby. 
the Lord knows. I try hard. I give my best. Ma, I'm not blaming you. No. No. Who's that now? No. Hello. What? <laughs> this is she. <laughs> So where you want us to meet? What? Oh, I, I, I meet you there. I, I meet you there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Abby, 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 come. I want to talk to you. I hope you have a good time tonight. I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. Nothing, man. Abby, man. Abby, just Abby, come outside. Let me. Abby, Abby, I really want. Uh, hello. What again? What? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> the other man got one cent for give me, but just expect me to spread my ass like that. I'm tired. You see these men? Just wanted her to try the dress, you know. Let me go, lead. like I never do. Let me just go and take a show, right? Keep his mind on nothing else. He'll treat the world for a good thing. Oh, yeah. That's a, you know, every time I hear that kind of music, I I remember those days, boy. Those those love days, boy. Yeah, boy. And that girl, that girl was real lucky, you know. I was madly in love with that girl. And I would do anything for that girl. But, you know, nothing was too much for me to do for that girl, Papa. But now she gone abroad. And you know, all that time she spent away, she never wrote me one note, huh? not even a phone call. Now I hear she's looking for her papers because she ended up getting pregnant for a married man. You know, her, her people say he's a businessman, you know, and, and he can help out and say. So. But you know, they never like me for their daughter, you know. No, no, them people never like me for their daughter. But as the saying goes, with experience, man know better. And I, man, I know better. When I'm here, Abby, you you listening to me ever since then? How, how long are you there? Not long. Don't let me disturb you. Oh, no, no, no. I have nothing more to say. You know. But where are you off to? Actually, I just came here to be by myself. You know what? I think I should go. No, but where are you going? I'm going to stay here, you know. Thomas, I don't think that would be wise. And and right now, I just don't want to speak to anyone. Hey, 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 hey. Don't come there if you're old moods there. <laughs> well, I went up with my old moods? No, Abby, where are you going? Don't go now. Hey, hey, Thomas, can I pass? No, Abby, come on, you can stay here. Look, you're here already. And besides, is here you plan to come anyways? Okay. <laughs> but, Abby, what happened? It's like every time we meet, there's some tension in the air. Well, maybe that's why we should avoid meeting up. It's too much stress. Oh, but what I do you like that already? Huh? What happened? You don't like me or what? <laughs> well, that I'm not answering. Won't you go in sometimes, Thomas? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I didn't know you were so interested in my movement. You know what? Forget it. 
Е, сега са ми със сенситивни. Why are you in Chiron? Why? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> I just thought I saw somebody are looking like him. Oh yeah? Hmm. Abby, what happened? You and your mother had a clash over. Thomas, I just really don't want to answer those questions right now. Abby, look, I really want to help you, okay? I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what. Thomas, I do not need your help, okay? I can handle my situation. Okay, all right. You have to get so upset. You. Where are you going later? You make any plans early, man? Well, I hope you're not going to stay home and feel sorry for yourself, you know. Tonight there are parties and sessions all over the place. <laughs> Let me go out and have some fun. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. I can have fun by myself. See, Abby, what's your freedom? Huh? I go bite to you, you know. For sure it's not you I'm afraid of. It's all that man that thing before they could sweet talk a woman they could get between her legs. Hey, Abby, what do you think? Huh? Before somebody asks you out, you think it's sick there, wouldn't you mind? <laughs> Show me one that's different. As long as you're a man. Hmm. <laughs> Abby, you mustn't think like that, you know. Ah, <laughs> I noticed something. I noticed from the time you and Damon break up, you they like you have a rage against all men. But maybe one person shouldn't stop you from leaving you. Okay? It's all about our choices in life. But well, Thomas, I've learned, okay? Once bitten, twice shy. That relationship was one of my worst experiences. I was looking for love. And I was hoping that maybe he could help me. But you know what? That love and that trust that I once had is now ancient history. Abby, Abby, look, one day, somebody will love you like you should be loved, okay? Don't worry, somebody will take you just as you are, but you are the one that has to turn over a new page, you know, and get past your hurt. Thomas, that is easy for you to see. Why don't ask you to spend one day in my shoe because I doubt you'll be able to handle well, it. Abby, try me, try me. I am ready to wear them, you know. I can stay here all evening just listening to you. I mean, look, I sense you're carrying a heavy burden. Would you like to share it with me? I have nothing to say. Abby, come on. I'm really interested in what you have to say. Thomas, why don't you get it? I don't want... You know what? I think I'll just go. Abby, come on. Let me walk with you. We can chat along the way. I don't want to chat right now. Please. Abby! Abby! I wonder what that guy did to that girl boy. Something must be wrong, you know. Look, what, what is she hiding? You know what? I think I'll go down by the cross, drink two carib, and enjoy myself. Let me see if I have enough money in my wallet. Yeah, yeah man, I see. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, God. You. I don't know what happened to the girl, eh? Chuck, this I'm grateful. If there's nothing you do, she appreciate it. <coughs> oh God, Jesus. My head, my head. Oh, yeah. 
still feel my head, boy, heavy from last night. Mm. But I proper enjoy myself. <laughs> Good dog now, come up back, my baby. Will you talk to me? I beg you for <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> I had a real good time. <laughs> uh, what a beautiful flower. But like you could do with some water in. Oi. You know what? Some money put up. I think I'm gonna do something good with it. Either buy something for Abby or poor girl. She got no life, it's not a bed of roses. I work hard for the money last night. Oh God! I must see today. I'm going to clean up, clean up the house because since I come back, I really do nothing. Let me go Thank God for next day. I see you up. <gasps> Girl, you know, I still going to clean up the place since I because since I come back, I really touch my hand. I um, put my hand on the place and so you know, crap, web the, the, the house and so. Mm -hmm. Do like a general cleaner, so. So you had a good time last night, huh? Girl, let me tell you. Last night was it. Last night, I proper enjoyed myself. I be. Last night was it. Good dog, no, come up back, my baby. Where you talking to me? I beg you put it on me. Girl, I wake up this morning feeling so good, it is funny. Why? I'm a big girl now. Oh, look how my body rolling. Back. Why? So, what you do last night? You went anyway? Oh, the night was okay. It passed quickly. Very quiet. Hold on. You ain't go nowhere last night? No, I was here all night. <laughs> you know what? Abby, it's a while now since we do something together, you know? It's a while. Anyhow, come, help me clean the house. Oh, my beautiful flower. You sure look like you need some water. Come, come, I shall take good care of you. Abby! Abby, how dare you walk out on me? It's worse. Abby, like it, Abby, come, I want to see you. Abby, like you hear what I'm saying? Yes, ma. Abby, just walk out on me. Abby, you avoiding me or something? Not today. I ain't in the mood for you and your foolishness, Abby. I ain't. Abby, you can't do water that stupid flower yet. Yeah? I come in just now. All right. All right. Not today. Not today, sister. Abby! <gasps> now you're looking so lovely. Come, let's put you by the window so you can have some fresh air. There we go. Yeah. So what happened? Abby, let me know something. You taking me for a child now? Don't forget, I still your mother and I don't have time for your foolish games. Games? Let me ask you something. Don't start. You remember playing any games with me? Are you ready, Phil? Oh, I don't expect an answer. Oh, shit, man. Abby, what happened to you? What, why you can't just deal with the presents for once? What, what is it? Huh? What is it, Abby? Every 
every single thing I said, nothing satisfying to you. Sorry. See you. You always talking about being hurt. You don't know. You don't know, Abby. You don't know what it feels like to always have your child blaming you and making you feel guilty for everything, past and present. Like that's never good enough for you. Ma. No. I know what matters, Abby. I know in my heart what matters. And even though it might be heavy with shame, it's only God who could judge me. Ma, I'm not judging you. You could have fooled me. You see in your eyes, I'm never a good example of a mother. No. Don't shake it. Let me tell you something. Before books was common sense. And yes, you may have gone to secondary school and community college and you think you know it all. But don't forget that I, Linda, is still your model. Don't forget it. Ma, it's not just high school that taught me things you know. Right. I'm in the street. And so I see and I feel life in motion already. After sending me to St. Lucia. Yes. To live with that man, your father. I had to fend for myself. There were times when I couldn't even go home. The only friend I had was that flower. But I thought that you... I thought your father... No, no ma. He did not know how to take care of a young girl in the prime of her life. Why did you have to send me to him? Why? Abby. Abby, your father wanted you to stay with him. He said I wasn't a good example. Well, honestly, I wanted you to stay with me. It's just that he used to threaten me. So I just decided to let you go and, and, and stay with him. Abby, Abby, listen. Abby, back then my life was up and down and, and maybe, maybe that was the best decision that, that, that I could have do then. I, but I, nobody ever asked me what I think is best for me, man. No one. Abby, you were small. You won't understand. That is the mistake that parents often make. They feel like children are too small to understand what truly affects them. And just the way you treat it can affect it. Watch. Watch it! If I wasn't taking such good care of it, do you think it would be this beautiful and bringing such light to our home? Just the way you treat it can affect it. Ma, we really shouldn't be taking things for granted. Someone might just destroy it and leave it to suffer. Abby, what are you trying to say? And those that suffer, Abby, they fade away, away in you? the background with little notice. And there's always that nagging thought that never really goes away, no matter how much you try. And at the end of the day, you, you just have to adjust to the situation Abby. and... Abby! Stop! Stop it! Stop with all the parables! Abby! Oh. Abby! Abby, is your boyfriend? Mm, I know it. 
I know you was a good for nothing from the first time. Let me tell you, I know you was a no good. Abby, Abby, just listen. Let me tell you something, right? You name woman. You could get any man you want by the slap of your finger. Baby girl, just forget him. Ma forget him. Ma, it wasn't him, okay? I got involved in that relationship because I was looking for love and attention. And what's the what? I thought you could make the pain go away. Okay. But you know what? That was a huge mistake. Abby. Answer the phone, girl. You, you, you're giving me a headache. I'm not sure reception is something to be answering phone for you, not my habit. Baby girl, man, stop answering the phone for me now. And tell her mind it. Hello? Give me one Hello, headache, Charles girl. Resident. Tell him I'm not there, I'm not there. I'm not Hello? There. Who is speaking? I will hang up the phone if you don't. Why are you so playing the ass now with you? Hello? I don't have... What? Fuck! Let me fuck. Hello? Mm -hmm. This was the dream you had. Hold on. Uh -huh. It's almost five years. You ain't called this house. And you what? Uh huh. Oh, you just have to see how we doing. Especially Abby. Uh -huh. You want to talk to Abby? Oh, hold on, hold on. Abby, I have nothing to say to him. Leave me alone. Well, I think you're here, she. <laughs> hey, no, Fox, Fox. What really happened between you and, and Abby? What's the problem? Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. Oh, 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 okay. Uh -huh. Well, she's rather acting strange. So, you sure you don't tell she nothing? You sure you don't say nothing bad to she? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. No, 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 no. Because if you see I find out that you tell you anything or you do she anything, it can be me and you. No, no, no. Listen, since she don't have anything to say to you, I have nothing to say to you. Goodbye. Almost five years in college. Abby. Abby, come. I want to talk to you. Something, you know. Come. Abby! This girl doesn't come in your car. Abby! What? Uh, Abby, were you crying for? And why is it you don't want to talk to your father? It's nothing, okay? Nothing. Abby, what puppy show you got me on, girl, but it's nothing, it's nothing. Why is it you don't want to talk to your father? I have no respect for him. I hate him. Girl. He is your father, and apparently you hate the best bone that he got. Abby, what's the problem between you and your father? Abby, what's me? I'm feeling something. I know something in right. What happened? Will your father do you? Ma, I share my pain with this flower. <laughs> I hold it when I am down and when I feel like there's no hope. I mean, what the sound flower got to do with your pain? The flower can't even talk. It has no feeling, no nothing. Now tell me, what your father do you? Ma, don't ever put my flower down like that again. You have no idea what you just did there. What? Destroying huh? life. Abby, come back alone. Oh, Jesus, oh. Abby, 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 Abby. Girl. <laughs> Abby, stop cracking up. Abby, that flower have no life. It can't talk, it can't cry. 
That is my problem. No regard for life, no respect for life. That man, my father, or the man I call my father, he did me something. And I could never forgive him. For what? He knocked you? But it was just that alone. Then what else? No regard for life, no respect for life. Man, this ain't a joke, you know. What do you want me to do? What is it you want me to do, Abby? Abby, look what you want me to do. All you care about is that damn stupid flower. What? What? Where is it? Huh? You, you, you want me to baby you? Abby, you are a big woman. But I don't give you the cause to say whatever comes to your mouth. I could still knock you. You're still living under my roof, and I am still your mother. You forget I wouldn't scare me. Or oh, you forgot my father put me out. So, so I'm not afraid of the street. It's nothing new to me. You know what? Maybe I'll just start there like you. Not again. Once is enough. I'll be a see where your cars. Abby. Abby. Abby, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean it. Abby, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to knock you. Abby. I don't belong here. No, Abby. I, I see where you're going. Where I'm going has nothing to do with you. It's not your business. Abby. Abby. I didn't mean it. Hello? What? I, I, I'm gonna call you back. Shit, I'm gonna call you back. Abby? Can I mean it? Oh God. Oh Lord. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't want to lose my daughter by the street. I don't want to lose you. Oh God, I didn't mean it. Imagine, whole week I work in on a container and I expect in my money. <laughs> and every book you have, baby, not even my overtime they want to give me. I mean, I ask them for my money, they come in and tell me, computer breakdown. I mean, the, the more things getting better, the more they gain worse. <laughs> Abby? Abby? Abby, what happened to you? Abby, what's wrong? Abby, talk to me. Why are you crying? Abby, what happened? Look, I've seen you much better than this already. And as beautiful as your little flower you have there. Well, I don't feel like it, okay? I just don't feel like I should be on this earth. I just, feel like, I just want to go someplace Abby. where nobody can see me or hear Abby. me. I just... Abby! Stop. Stop. Whatever you're thinking about there, I don't feel good about it, you know. Why don't you just give up? No, Abby, because I am your friend. And there's no way I will ever give up on you. Look, I remember when we were kids. We used to talk about everything and anything, you know. We used to share our dreams. We used to share our fears. But it seems somewhere along the way you just change all of a sudden. You know, <laughs> I used to look forward to seeing you coming on holidays with your mother from Barbados. 
But even then, you, you have always been a mysterious girl, you know. So much things happen that causes one to change, okay? I remember those days. Everything was just so innocent. And yeah. someone rob you of that innocence and you start behaving like a bitch. And you want to know what hurts the most? Is that those you put your trust in, they are the ones disappointing you. Oh, uh, Abby, wait. What is it you're talking about? Who disappointed you? Your mother? Who, Abby, your father? Abby, I cannot think of anybody that would want to hurt you or not even love you. Abby, look at me. You are not a bitch, okay? You hear me? Thomas. You wouldn't hurt me, but somebody else would, okay? Thank you. Thank you. This stone has a listening ear. Abby, can I ask you a question? Are you happy? And if I'm not, what can you do? But I want to make you happy. I want you to know that I am there for you. Well, I'm... I'm glad I have a friend that I can count on. You're welcome. But you still haven't answered my question, huh? Who robbed you of your innocence? Thomas, you, you just don't get it. Why, why don't you just forget it? Just okay. leave it alone. Okay. Let it die. Okay. Leave it alone. Okay, okay, Abby. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry for poking. But, Abby, you know, Whatever it is that's bothering you, and you're not talking about it, that's not helping you, you know. Okay? All right, fine. You may think I'm the wrong person to talk to. But maybe I cannot stand to see you in so much pain, you know. So please, talk to me. What happened to you? From, from the tender age of 13 years old, my life started changing for all the wrong reasons. I was living with my mother up until then. But my father wanted me to come and live with him instead. And I was just starting to grow up. <laughs> you, you, know, you know what it is like to have a father around. Huh? You know, I never knew my father. I, I, I've only seen pictures of him. That bastard left me when I was only five years old. You know? <laughs> And he went to live in the States. I, I was raised with my grandmother. And she was But what did your mother die from? They told me it was cancer of the blood or something like that, but. I cannot remember because that happened a, a, a long, long time ago. The only thing I remember is just imagining what it would be like to have both parents around. Mm -hmm. But my grandmother, she, she's a great job and I have big respect for her. Yeah, she did a great job. Yes, she did a great job, but uh, but life has to go on. So, did you ever try to contact your father? I wrote him once or twice. But he always has an excuse. It's either he's so busy or, or he don't have the time or he don't like to write. You know, it's like I don't matter to him. But... I am a big man, and I can take care of myself. Well, that I have been doing. Taking care of myself. You know what? Maybe it was a blessing in disguise. What do you mean by that? Well, think of it that way. If I was still living with my father, for example, I wouldn't be this responsible. You know my mother, mm -hmm. she always out of the island doing <laughs> God knows, God knows what, right? Yeah. So I had to fend for myself. 
And as a teenager growing up, that was not a bed of roses. Yeah, I mean, everybody has their own story. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. But everybody has a choice whether to tell it or not, okay? And, and I choose not to speak of mine. You may think I'm different, Thomas. But maybe one day you'll get it. Avi, that is the way you want to live. To keep everything bottled inside. But you know, as for me, I let all sleeping dogs lie low. <laughs> um, c come, come and have a seat. I have something for you. What you have in mind you want me to sit? Just trust me, all right? What you looking for? Um, <laughs> I've had something in my pocket for you for a, a, a couple, a couple of days now. What you have for me? A, po po <laughs> a, a po poem. You wrote me a poem. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would try to read it to you, but, but um. <laughs> I, I didn't know if I had the courage or, or, or if you'd like it. But, but, but now you have it, I feel a lot better. Thomas. Thomas, I love it, but, but I'm surprised though. You surprised? Surprised at what? I surprised you wrote me a poem. Like I said, I really love it. You love it? You sure? I didn't know I was so lucky. I should write more. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never had either of my parents spending time with me, you know, or, or even getting me a card on my birthday. And you know, I always wanted to spend that special day with someone, especially my 21st birthday. Yeah, well, it would be my pleasure to have a party for you. You joking? You do that for me? Of course. Why not? You see, if. You give me the chance. <laughs> just, just trust your heart. What you say? I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say? That shouldn't give you the right to try that. Um, a kiss of appreciation. <laughs> a kiss of appreciation. Yeah. I told you thank you for your poem. By the way, look. You're not my man, you're just my friend. You cannot just force yourself on What? Me. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Force myself? But, but Abby, you, I, I you thought you were... what? You knew exactly what you were doing. If you meant any of those things that you wrote there, you would have never tried that. You need to give the relationship a chance before we just jump into something we regret later. <laughs> Abby. We don't know the present or the future, but we're living. So, so, so that's how it is. You know what? Maybe there's something that you just don't want to face, and that's the truth. The truth. What truth are you talking about? What truth are you damn well know? Abby, what you afraid of, and why you afraid to face reality? How much longer will you keep feeling sorry for yourself? How much longer will you keep beating yourself up? Tell me, tell me what. Every man that comes to you, you will put up a big sign in the face that says, I hate all men. I mean, you just have a serious problem. <laughs> Thomas, I tried to tell you, but it's just so hard to say. These guys are strangling me. Why did you have to do that to me? You took everything from me. My virginity, 
my pride, my womanhood. There were times when I tried to sleep in hope that I would wake up and I would forget everything, but that never happened. I scream until I can scream no more. Oh, Lord. Please help me. That bastard. You said you would protect me. Protect me for what yourself. Please. Please, Father, help me. Please help me. Thomas. Thomas. I know. I know that I am the problem. I, I hope you'll understand someday. Why? Why me? <laughs> Come back, she can clean her from riding. I ain't cleaning nothing. I don't know what happened to this girl. No, she can clean it just right there and she can. This girl was never a girl like this. I knew something wrong. She don't talk. She don't talk. She don't talk. But this girl could. This girl could there. Uh... Please get in. Heart back clean a little bit. She got to... She gonna know that I'm sorry. I'll put it back in your plan. Go. Come. This girl could. All right, at least I get it door together. You can see, I didn't mean it. Go on. Oh, God. She was like my child, so. The girl gets so rude, this girl is too. Abby, I Abby. have nothing to say to you. Abby. I come for my yes, seat. No, 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 no. So, Abby, where you gonna go, just so? I mean, it's not just, just so. At this point, I just want to go anywhere or any place. Just let me. All right. All right. Abby, you, you, you don't have to go anywhere or any place. Ma. Abby, I just can't take it. We always act it. All right. Look, look, look. I start cleaning up the, the, the thing. Here, Abby. Look. We just, we just have to avoid being at it. Right, Abby? Honestly. Abby, I really don't want you to. To go out on the road not knowing where you're gonna rest your head. Don't worry. Abby. Somebody will open their house for me or I will just go somewhere. Abby, you make it sound so easy. Abby, you're not working. Where's it you gonna eat? How are you gonna look at yourself? I really don't want you to turn. No, like... ma. I will clean the streets if I have to. The Lord helps those who help themselves. Abby, Abby, those streets are dangerous. Anyone to take advantage of you out there. Ma, I have already been taken advantage of. And it wasn't even on the street, but in a home. So trust me, you have nothing to fear. All right, Abby. All right. I did it. You know what? Sometimes I wonder if you're more concerned about me being on the street or somebody taking your things in your accent. The, the house? Yes, the house. You see, somehow it's always about you. Hmm? Well, um, that might be true. <laughs> but, but, Abby, listen. Hear me out. I really don't want you to go on the streets, Abby. I really don't want you to have to do what I doing? Abby. 
You see this, this, this whole thing? That Abby? You see these things? Yes. Yes, this, this, it, 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 it's mine. But we always know, you, you and I both know I travel a lot. So it, it would just make common sense to have somebody stay in the house. You know someone that I trust? Why not my own daughter? You do realize no, Abby. that if I stay here my whole life, I will never have a place of my own. So, so let's keep it in the back of your mind that one day I will have my own house with my own things. Abby, you know what? One day you will surely have your own thing. Hmm. Me having my own house? Lord, I can't wait for the day. And you want a family too? Family? How you mean? You know, give me some grants. I know someone who would love that idea. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm hearing something, you know. What you hear? Well, Thomas is your man. What? Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right, Asari. But, but forget what I say. Forget it. But just be careful. What? Mm. Your yarn name while all over the area. You know what? Mm. I'm not surprised because they always think they know your business more than you. Mm -mm. Well, let me tell you. The other day they're coming up the road. And it's so the day. Ma Palay and y'all. Them is see me coming. I just appear on them. Kaka glow, hold them. Ma, you see what I ain't tell them is what I forget. You see them people? They have nothing good to say about anyone. Not even the sales. You know what? It's a good thing I don't give one damn what they have to say anymore. Thomas is my one true friend, you know? He's always been there for me and, and I could always count on him and nobody can stop that. All right, madam. All right. But Th Thomas, he's different. You know, he, he's... He's caring and and so oh, loving, you know. You know what? I should probably go and water my flowers. Since you for that it hasn't been the same at all. And and while you're at it, bring a shot for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hui. My daughter come home. My daughter come home. My daughter come home. Lord, I thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. I don't know. I really didn't want to lose you by the street. But I thank you. Father God. Ugh. I wish your father would have said if he'd only find out. Mm-mm. Lord, I thank you. Look. <sighs> thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much. Mother, I just so tired. I tired about my pain. I tired about thinking about my problems. I'm tired of the truth, mistrust. I'm tired of the scars. You know what? When I think about all the things that I've been through, I just have to, I just want to die, man. You see, when I think about my mother and my father, I just have to shake my head. So what is this? You just want done, eh? Copy the Lord knows. I never conceive you for money. Had I done so, I would have put you up for adoption. Maybe that would have been best. But where is the love? Where is the protection? Abby. Hello? Why that nasty man keep calling her since when? I don't want anything to do with that man. What? Hello. What again? What? Uh. 
<sighs> yeah. You have something to tell Abby? Well, uh, uh, tell me where you got to tell Abby. You want our fishes? Hold on, hold on. Go to hell! Listen, Abby don't want to talk. First, what is the problem between you and Abby? Uh huh. Nothing? <laughs> nothing, eh? Alright. Well, here, yeah, since it's nothing, I, I gotta go, I gotta go about some more business. So, listen. What again? What? <laughs> oh God! What's going on? Oh God! You're cracking me up! Hold on! Fuck! 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 Slow! Slow! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! Slow down. You want me to give you a couple of days to rest your head at my home. <laughs> I'll come to your house. Uh. <laughs> uh. You lie. Uh. For truth. So, so your wife got the house. Mm. She divorced you? Uh -uh. Well, here, here, uh -uh, I ain't got space at my house. Mm -mm. Nor is it a divorce shelter. Mm -mm. Mm. Listen, don't even think about putting a foot in front of my door, you hear me? Don't even think about Ma, it because if you see that man come here, I'm going to kill myself, okay? I don't want that man anywhere near me, you hear me? Oh! Fuck, they can't come. Don't, uh-uh. Listen, don't, don't think about putting your foot in front of my door. Ma, I warn you, okay? If you see that man come here, something will happen. Abby, listen, if, if you come here, it'll be a different story. Abby! Abby! So good, you know? Abby, why are you not answering me? Abby! Abby, stop breaking up my things at the back here, girl! Abby! Abby! Oh God, Abby! Abby! Who is there? Me, me, Anna. Come, come, the door open. Come, I need your help. Abby! Abby, talk to me! What? Abby, answer what, me! What happened? Abby! Oh Abby, what happened oh to God. her? I'm not on the phone, and then I hear a noise and when I come. This is how I see the Abby, I'm a carita outside. Abby, say something. I'm a carita outside. Oh my God, Linda. Look at that. Oh God. She got her wrist, Linda. Oh God. Come, come. God, God, she, put it, put it, put it. Oh God, oh God, put it, put it. Oh God, no. Abby, 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 Abby. <laughs> Oh God, what we can do? What come, we can do? Come, come, Diane. Come, Diane. I'm confused. Oh God, come, Diane, Linda. Blood all over the place. Oh God, Abby. Oh, yeah. Abby, why you do this? Come. Abby, why you do this? No, Abby. Abby, Linda. Abby, why? Abby, why you do this? Abby, um, come, come up to the hospital. Call them. Call it one one. Hurry up. Call it still. Call it one one. It's the number. Eight one one. Hello. Abby. Hi. Abby, I just came. I have an emergency. Abby. I call Abby. I'm calling from Belmont area, yes. My daughter dying. Oh my god. My daughter dying. You got no taxi? Not even one on base. <laughs> I'm not going to die in here with my uncle. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're sorry. The hell with you. The hell with you. Linda. 